One of the most common questions I get often is, what is the easiest way to power a camper van? Now that has led me to want to test this little battery box. This is a Jackery Explorer 240. Now this, I think, can be an all-in-one solution to powering a camper van. So as you can see, it's equipped with two 5-volt USB ports, a 12-volt socket, and a 200-watt pure sine wave uh, inverter that's built into this little box. Now I think it's important to know that I've been powering my camper van for the last three years with a system that I designed and built myself. Now the system is designed around two very large uh, lead acid batteries that are mounted under my bed. Uh, they are kept charged by a solar panel that is permanently mounted to the roof of my van and there is some wiring and some electronics that keep all that working. Now while my system has worked very well for me, it is a little bit complicated. I had to figure out what the components I needed to buy, I had to figure out how to put it together, I had to figure out how to use it. This is why I think a device like this might be a very good solution for a lot of van dwellers, especially a lot of people that are new to van dwelling. Uh, this is an all-in-one unit that has a battery built in and does everything for you. You don't need to learn anything new, you don't need to set up anything. You just take it out of the box, you charge it up, and you use it. Now even though this is a very small and lightweight battery box, it does hold a lot of power. Now I've used this to charge my phone, to charge my iPad, and to keep my lights running. And it took me almost two weeks to deplete this down to zero. Uh, that is a lot of power out of such a small, compact, and lightweight box. Now the one thing that this kind of smaller battery probably isn't good at doing is it's not going to really work on, say, high drain electrical devices. So you can't really use it to run, say, a microwave or a hot plate, not really. Uh, you can't really use it to run uh, a refrigerator or a CPAP machine. Uh, for something like those kind of high drain electrical devices, you'd probably want a little bigger battery box than, than this one in particular. But if your power needs are somewhat minimal, in that you just need to keep your phone charged, keep your lights going, uh, maybe you have a laptop you want to use, maybe you have a TV you want to use, this will do it all. Now I've found this little Jackery Explorer 240 to be very well made. Uh, I've tossed it in the back of my van, it's kind of tumbled around back there, it actually fell out of the door and onto the ground once, and it really is no worse for wear. It's actually worked flawlessly for everything that I've tried to use it with. Now I have to say that I have not been very keen on battery boxes like this until very recently. Uh, I think that there's a point at which uh, the price of these doesn't make sense. If you're looking at a battery box that is about a thousand dollars, I think that at that point you really should just build a system out yourself, kind of like I have. Um, with the price point of this Explorer 240, I think it makes a lot more sense uh, to just go with this. Uh, if your power needs are minimal, uh, this is definitely the way to go. If you're going to need a lot more power uh, and you're looking at one of these boxes that's, you know, about a thousand dollars, I don't think that they're worth it. Uh, I think that you'd be better off putting in a system like I have. Uh, but, like I said, if, you're, if your power needs are minimal and all you need is just a, a little bit of things and you don't need a fridge, you don't need a microwave, uh, this will do it and it'll do it very, very well. You're now let's talk about the one thing that I don't like about the Jackery Explorer 240. And, and there really is just one. I don't like the fact that it takes eight hours to charge. Uh, now it's rather easy to charge. Uh, Jackery gives you a plug, you can plug it into the wall uh, if, if you have uh, a way to do that. Um, 
they also include a cigarette lighter option. So the way I was using it uh, was I would, I would just plug it in here. Uh, I plug this into the cigarette lighter of my van and charge it as I drove. Uh, this is a little bit of an issue for me though because even though I live in a van, I don't do a whole lot of driving uh, really. So if this was say all the way depleted uh, and I needed that full eight hours of charge time, it is a little bit difficult for me to charge it up uh, just using uh, the cigarette lighter option. Now with me, I could take this into my work and plug it in there. Um, I'm sure that they would allow me to do that if I asked, uh, but there's a little bit of hassle there for me taking it somewhere, remembering to take it in, plug it in, remember to taking it back to the van when I leave work. Uh, so to me, that's not a very viable option to, to use the uh, AC plug that, that it does uh, come with. Now there is a third option to keep this charged up. Now this, believe it or not, is a 50 watt solar panel and this thing is really cool. It comes in this little zippered case, uh, has a little pocket back here for the wiring uh, that is included and this is really rather easy to use. So using the solar panel is really rather easy. You just use the provided cable, you plug it into the back of the solar panel, uh, open up the panel, place it in the sun, and then plug the other end of the cable into the Explorer 240. And as you can see, it is charging up right now. This little solar panel that is just this big, which is really not very big at all, especially when you fold it up, uh, is 50 watts. And I found that this was a great solution to keep the Jackery charged when I needed it. So while the solar panel is an optional extra, I think it is a good value for the money and I think that it is kind of essential, at least in how I live. Uh, if I were to try to power my van using this, uh, I would definitely want the solar panel. To me, it's just a no-brainer that the solar panel can be utilized to keep the Jackery charged up uh, no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing. So I really highly recommend the solar panel. It works very, very well and it folds up and tucks away uh, it, anywhere and in a, in a space like my van, uh, having it fold up and having it be uh, extremely portable has been uh, very good and actually uh, the only reason why I would really suggest it. Uh, it is just a very well made, very well designed solar panel that I think just complements the Explorer 240 very, very well. Now, I wouldn't be able to use this uh, only to charge, uh, to keep all my uh, devices charged in my van, just because my, my refrigerator does take more power than this could handle. Uh, Jackery does sell some larger units. They also sell some smaller units if, if, if you didn't need one uh, this size. But I think that this one is a very good size. This, this Explorer 240 is actually a very good size for most people, and it would do most things uh, very well. Now I should tell you that Jackery did send me this unit to test uh, in exchange for a video review. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these, uh, Jackery has given me uh, a link and a coupon code uh, so you save a little bit of money for a limited time after this video is posted. Uh, you'll find those links uh, down below. I'll put them in the description of this video and actually in the comment section also in, the, in this video. Uh, I hope that's helpful, and any questions, please uh, drop them in the comment section below, and I will try to answer them. But really truthfully, I think this little box is a very big game changer. Uh, this is one of the things that uh, is great about new technology. If this technology was around when I had built out my van, I may not have gone through the trouble of making such a big, uh, heavy, expensive system uh, as part of my van like, like I've been using. Uh, that, that's no knock against my system, but that is just uh, kudos to new technology and companies that are making something that is a very good quality product.